Hey gearheads, Corey and Holly here coming to you from the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. And I've finally gotten a little bit of time. I got my wife next to what could be our next family vehicle. This is the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee two row Trailhawk 4xE. Yeah, I think I got it all in there. Uh, what are your first impressions? I know that uh, the styling is a bit of a departure, but what do you think yeah. so far? Well, I like the different color yes. roof from the body style, um, so I like that a whole lot. Of course, like my favorite car that I've owned is a Mini Cooper, which they're kind of famous for that, right. but I really like that a whole lot. I think it's really pretty. I like that it's a plug-in hybrid, which we've already established that we really yes. enjoy. And then the inside of this is really pretty. I like the blue um, accent stitching and yeah, I like it. It looks, I haven't been on the inside and I haven't driven it. Well, we'll, we'll get to the inside in, in just a moment. It looks bigger. Yes. than what we currently have because we currently have a Trailhawk Cherokee, Jeep Cherokee. which is Jeep smaller Cherokee. than this so uh, what makes this one so special why I'm so excited about this particular one Holly has already alluded to this is the 4xE version while I was in Houston I saw the non 4xE with the 3.6 liter Pinnastar V6 under the hood this has a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine uh, paired to a battery electric hybrid system you'll have to forgive us we're next to camp jeep that's a wrangler 392 climbing a 40 degree incline but yes the battery electric system in this allows up to 25 miles of all electric range so in your daily commute you could drive this around as long as you have less than 25 miles in your daily commute you're never using any gas. And then you can take this same vehicle on a 400 plus mile road trip and still not have to fill up with gas because between the battery and the gas tank, you have over 400 miles of range as this one sits. Very exciting stuff. I, I'm a fan of the new styling. This has an air suspension that can raise you up to give you more clearance. So this has all the off-road goodies, has on-road, handling and manners because let's face it the grand cherokee is america's range rover and the styling point that you pointed out the contrasting roof just adds to that even more let's pop the hood just just ever so briefly to take a look at that two liter four cylinder and then we'll get to your favorite part the interior okay all right holly so we're here at the front of the 2022 two row Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk 4xE. And I wanna call out just one thing that will help you and I distinguish these out on the road as a 4xE. We have got blue accents here on the hood, trimming the Jeep logo, and yes, blue tow hooks, not red, blue, signifying that it is a 4xE model. Underneath the hood here, I'm actually gonna hand this off to you. Underneath the hood here, we have a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine made it to that hybrid powertrain. This whole setup is good for 375 horsepower and 470 pound feet of torque. And that torque, because it is a battery electric hybrid is instantaneous. So you get all the benefits of the electric plus the benefits of the gas with the long range and over 400 miles on a single charge and fill up. All right, Holly, you are behind the wheel of the 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. What are your thoughts on the just sheer amount of luxurious touches they've introduced to this model? It's quite a big step up from our 2014 Cherokee, is it not? Yes. Is this the base model? This is the no. base come standard? No. So this has the upgraded infotainment system. It's got the all digital display here. Uh, this does not have the heads up display, but 10 inches of screen real estate uh, here. You've got your digital rear view camera that removes the obstructions behind you, but you can flip and go to just a standard uh, rear view mirror as well. Just so much to love in here. Uh, leather wrapped dash 
and leather wrapped steering wheel. All the blue stitching that you liked so much when we were outside, signifying that this is a 4xe with electric capabilities. And while we're talking about electricity, we've got USB-A, USB-C, two of those in here, wireless charging pad, all behind a nifty little Thing. hidden tray there. You've got rock, sand, mud, snow, auto, and sport drive modes. You've got adjustable ride height due to the air suspension and a turn dial uh, gear selector here in the middle. But the question still stands. What are your thoughts of the upgrade uh, and the luxury in here? Do you feel Range Rover-esque, American I, Range Rover-esque in here? Well, I do love it. Yep. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, I I like their uh, system up here better than the Fords. Yep. I am not sure I'm sold on a digital rear view mirror, which I guess you can turn it off. Yep. Um, I don't know. I like to see with my own eyes. Yes. You know me and technology. Yes. But I feel like this isn't too much technology, like a Tesla or something like that, where I'm like, I, nah, I'm going to break something. And some of my favorite things are right here under the 10 inch uh, infotainment screen. A volume knob. How great is that? A volume knob. Actual buttons for your heated and ventilated seats and your heated steering wheel. How great is that? You don't have to go through menus on the Uconnect system. I love that very much. And I'm then playing with the lumbar support. <laughs> and oh, yes, I love lumbar support. Very comfortable <laughs> seats. The, these would be good for a 400 plus mile road trip. Easy. Yeah. We've got this panoramic roof above us. The sheer amount of luxury in this is above and beyond. Uh, Jeep has really stepped up their interior game and, and it shows. So let's take a step back to the back row uh, and see just how comfortable that is for two real live adults. Okay. All right, Holly, uh, back row, three across. How's the seating back here, comfortable-wise? Eh. Eh? Eh. Yeah? The, the seat is not very comfortable, but I mean, there's lots of space, but the seat kind of feels like I'm sitting on a box. Yeah? I don't love that. Well, there is a recline function here. Uh, yeah. You wanna see if that makes it better? No, I still feel like I'm sitting on a box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Just the bottom part is not very comfy. Well, lucky for you and I, we're probably not going to spend a whole lot of time back here. This one does have the optional uh, 10 and a quarter inch screens on back of the, the backs of the front seats that Tucker would probably love when he gets old enough to be able to reach them. My favorite thing, I keep bringing it up, more family vehicles need sunshades for the rear doors. Uh, I, I don't know why this is not a more prevalent option. I know for our kiddo, we had this suction cup one that always fell off. And then an interesting note for me, this has uh, your window switch back here, but you can even lock and unlock the vehicle from the back door. Just interesting little touch. You have heated seats back here as well. So they, they did not forget about back seat comfort. However, it still has just the air conditioner thing right here in the middle. There's none adjustable on the roof, which we have found to be a problem with a child in a car seat because um, those car seats get really hot in the summer, especially. And um, we have a hard time getting enough air in the right direction to get around the sides of the car seat to his face with that kind of air conditioner system. So that's one thing. So backseat, maybe a little bit of a letdown. Let's look at that cargo space because that's something our Cherokee, which we know is smaller than this, uh, suffers in a little bit. Is this perhaps the more right size for us at this moment? Let's see. All right, we have moved to the back. Uh, a, a little bit of updated styling that will help you tell this apart from the three row version. One, it's shorter. Uh, two, you've got this black connector strip in between these new thin LED tail lights. Kind of calls out if you're right behind one, you know you're behind the two row version. Again, you get all the blue accents and the four by E badge, but uh, let's pop the power hatch back here. quite a bit more space than our Cherokee. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, there is a lot more space back here. It's nice and... 
and you still get your retractable cargo shade so you can hide the stuff behind you. It looks like you can set your height. Yes, and it has the Stellantis, uh, my favorite Stellantis's side mounted button instead of hatch mounted button, though this hatch does not seem to be all that tall right now. No, uh, please, I don't even please have don't. the tippy toe. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Uh, just for your reference, I'm 5'10", and uh, I've got maybe two, possibly three inches of space up above me. So, uh, taller folks beware. No spare underneath here. They put it in the middle, which is a little bit interesting, but there is space around it to, to store some stuff. But very cavernous open area back here. That's one of your speakers for your upgraded sound system right there. And then I'll let you push the button. Show just how easy. gives you a few beeps to know, get out of the way, and then it starts coming down. Uh, here we've got your rear view camera, camera for your rear view mirror and a washer for it. So in case it ever gets dirty from road grime and stuff. Um, now that we're back here, I do have to ask, you've seen it all. Could this be perhaps our next family vehicle? I know you're trying to sell me on it. So hard, so hard. I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> I'm going to need a little more convincing. All right, so Jeep, there you have it. We, we need to test one of these and see for <laughs> ourselves. We'll get her behind the wheel. We'll show her that adjustable air suspension and how cushy the ride is. Just remember how, how much luxury was up front. Uh, I'm Team Jeep. I really love the Grand Cherokee line. I love Trailhawks. It's why we bought one. Granted, yeah. the smaller version. Yeah, so. I love our, our Trailhawk and our Jeep. There's just a couple things that I would change about it, and this doesn't change them. Well, th this does have memory seats. This has yeah. cooled seats, and it's bigger, so it changes it has a lot. Seats. Yes, it has ventilated seats. Standard. Not standard, yeah. but on but on this one. So, uh, well, there you have it. I'm gonna have to get her behind the wheel of one to, to find out if I've truly converted her to this new generation of Grand Cherokee. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, go find all the other videos from the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. We'll link that playlist down below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye. bye.